Hello everyone, Ike here from Gemma Mechanics. Today I'm working on a 2013 Santa Fe Sport 2.0 turbocharged. And I am investigating an all-wheel drive malfunction. Um, had a couple snows here recently. And um, the all-wheel drive has not been working correctly. And it also has been under certain conditions when your front wheels are slipping. It makes this grinding noise, but you have no torque to the rear wheels at all. So, uh, I have the car up in the air, front and back, and so the ABS light is on because all the wheels aren't sinking, but uh, go ahead and have a look at this here. So I actually have it, uh, this is the all-wheel drive with the four-wheel drive lock option. So I got it locked now. Go ahead and put it in drive and switch to first so the wheels don't spin too fast. We'll just get the wheels spinning nice and good and have a look. All right. So there's that wheel running. Got that wheel running. And nothing nothing in the back go check the other one just to be sure and nothing's been in there so I do have this on some pretty nice stands so it's good and safe so let's have a look at this here all right and our drive shaft isn't even spinning whatsoever front to back so let's give uh, let's give the wheel here a little little bit of spin let's we'll see if we get any uh, any change nothing pretty interesting all right well, let's turn this off so it's safe to roll under there and uh, have a look at this thing here. Now, I'm pretty certain I know what the problem is already, but I do want to be very thorough and make sure we get this figured out correctly. So let's roll on under there and have a look. All right, here we go. Uh, switch to right on angle here so we got all right, so uh, a very common problem with the all-wheel drives. Um, if you got like a clunking noise, this U-joint can go bad. Or on uh, the Santa Fe's and some other cars, this coupler can go bad and the rubber blows out and then it can rotate. But that would make a lot of noise, uh, especially in four-wheel lock. If you were trying to go up a hill or something, you get a lot of clunking and clattering going on. And we don't have any of that here. So let's see, you can spin this, definitely no problem with any bearings or anything, it spins quite freely. So there is, uh, on this particular Santa Fe, there is an electronic transfer case that shifts here. So this car actually has true two wheel drive when you're driving normally. It has a transfer case here, electronic actuator that engages it. So your wheel wheels are not under any torque or any stress when you're going down the highway, say. Let me come up forward here. And we have the transfer case there. So let's uh, go ahead and stick this light on. There we are. And then that's the transfer case right up there. You see that spinning freely too. So, um, pretty interesting. And there's no uh, there's no codes or anything um, when you try and go up a slippery surface like a, a snowy hill or something. Uh, like I said, you'll get this uh, grinding noise, kind of like a. a uh, it, it almost sounds like a bad coupler here, but there is no bad coupler here. The noise is definitely coming from here. Um, but no all-wheel drive. And the, uh, you know, the wet road surface light, the, uh, 
that light will come on, your ABS light will come on, different stuff like that. It, it kind of freaks out, but it self-clears, and it doesn't recognize any faults. It just recognizes that your front wheels are spinning, and your rear wheels are not spinning. So that is what's going on there. Now, like I said, I, I'm pretty certain I know what the problem is, um, and it's known to happen on these Santa Fe's. It's not going to be fun to fix. Um, this transfer case has a tendency to strip out the main uh, transfer gear that transfers from the drive shaft coming out of the trans or the transmission, going through the transfer case and out to the passenger side wheel. There's a gear there that transfers it to this side. And then you have your all-wheel drive clutches and your, your all-wheel drive lock and all that stuff is in there. And that gear strips out and that could be what the grinding noise is. Won't know for sure until I get it apart, but that's a video for another day. So for now, that's the issue that this Santa Fe is having. And um, I know some other people had the issue too. And uh, it ends up being that transfer case. So hopefully this video has helped you uh, if you got an issue with your all-wheel drive on your Santa Fe, newer Santa Fe. That's probably the culprit right there. And a dealer dealerships, uh, they'll whine and bitch quite a lot about it um, because that's an expensive repair. If your car is still under warranty, they'll try and weasel their way out of it for sure, unfortunately. But... That's all I got for today. I'll be making a video probably later on. Me pulling this thing off. Taking it apart. Showing you what's going on with it. And uh, hopefully I can find parts for it. Or uh, I might just be sticking another transfer case in. And uh, getting the Santa Fe back on the road. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.